Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to talk about five chemicals that are in products that we use on a daily basis, and they are also found in some foods. As so-called black women, we suffer the consequences of cancer-causing chemicals in hair products more than any other group. In the United States alone, black consumers spend approximately $473 million on hair care products annually. While blacks outspend on everything from water to cookware, our beauty buying habits continue to top the charts. We spend nearly nine times more than our non-black counterparts on ethnic hair and beauty products, unfortunately, products designed for and marketed to black women contain the highest levels of toxic and harmful ingredients. So let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the video. It's free. As I was making this video, I had to look through my own hair care products, and I have to tell you, now I understand why I'm having so much hair loss, and my hair feels brittle and damaged. I'm done with buying and using these products that don't love me. I will be making my own hair care products. Okay, so, the first chemical. Number one, sodium lauryl sulfate. This notorious hair product chemical is number one for a reason. Sometimes referred to as ammonium lauryl sulfate, lauryl sulfate. SLES or SLS is used for degreasing engines and industrial cleaning, but it's also added to hair products as a cheap and powerful cleaning agent. Not only can this sulfate cause dryness, but it can also lead to some serious health concerns if used regularly. Even in low concentrations, it may cause irritation or hormone imbalances if it comes in direct contact with your skin. So why is it used in shampoos, shower gels, toothpaste, shaving foams, facial cleansers, dissolvable aspirin, bubble baths, and it is also found in household cleaning products like dish soaps and floor cleaners. Number two, propylene glycol. If you've ever read the back of a shampoo bottle, you've likely seen this name. It is cheap production cost and ability to make your hair look smooth and shiny is what makes it incredibly popular in major beauty products. Propylene glycol does not hold an inherent health risk, rather, it is a harsh chemical that causes hair loss, scalp irritation, and itchiness by removing your hair's natural oils. It may even damage your hair's cell structure, making your hair look brittle and unhealthy. It is also found in most processed foods. While it is a low toxicity, you can develop health complications if you eat foods that have it in large quantities. The best way to protect yourself is to avoid products that contain it. Hair care, creams and lotions, household cleaners and detergents, cough drops, cosmetics, oral care, paints, stains, enamels and sealers, pet care, shaving creams, gel, soaps and cleansers, sunscreens, topical medications, and wipes. Propylene glycol is also found in air fresheners, such as Glade Premium Room Sprays. It is also in some food colorings and vanilla flavor ice cream. At times it can be added to packaged or processed foods, especially in food that are thick liquids, creams, icing, sauces, but in those cases it will be listed as an ingredient. Also, if a food lists natural flavors, natural flavoring, artificial flavor, or artificial flavoring, the flavoring can contain propylene glycol that would not be separately listed as an ingredient. In foods with these ingredients listed there is no way to find out for certain if the food contains propylene glycol or not. Finally, some beers may contain propylene glycol, and beers do not have to list it as an ingredient. Number 3. Parabens Propyl, Methyl, and Butyl Look for the words propyl paraben, methyl paraben, and butyl paraben next time you check your hair product chemical. You may recognize this lately because of the skyrocketing trend of products advertising themselves as paraben-free. Parabens are used to prolong the shelf life of hair products by preventing mold and bacteria growth. But in high enough amounts, parabens can interfere with your hormones, most notably affecting your body's estrogen level. Anyone who has taken birth control or other hormone-altering medication knows the serious effects hormonal changes can have on your body chemistry. Parabens are one of the chemicals that cause hair loss and irritation, and in severe cases, can even cause breast cancer. Parabens have been found intact in breast cancer tumors. It is known to decrease sperm counts in young rats. A study by researchers at the Harvard suggested that exposure to propyl paraben might be associated with diminished fertility. It is also found in liquid and powder foundation, BB and CC creams, tinted moisturizer, sunscreen, cream and powder blush, moisturizing face cream, lotion, and shampoo. And it is in foods like muffins, iced tea, pudding, and tuna, trail mix, cinnamon rolls, honey glazed buns. Number four, formaldehyde. It also goes by other names like formalin, formic aldehyde, methanol, methyl aldehyde, methylene glycol, methylene oxide. You may know of formaldehyde as the preservative used in embalming bodies, but it's used for a myriad of purposes, from construction to glue to fungicide. 
Formaldehyde in itself should not be scary, it occurs in trace amounts in nature, and it is a common presence in household goods. It is a problem, however, in large doses or in products that come in direct contact with your skin. Manufacturers add formaldehyde to beauty products because of its low cost and ability to kill germs. But in high enough amounts, formaldehyde can cause issues like skin irritation, coughing, and nausea. There are also many links to this hair product, chemical, and cancer that cause concern. Some people are more sensitive than others and should avoid any products that use formaldehyde. So why is it used in so many personal care products, particularly in shampoos and liquid baby soaps, toothpaste, nail polish, hair gel, and color cosmetics? Some paper products, such as grocery bags and paper towels, give off small amounts of formaldehyde. Meat and poultry, milk, fish, sugar, produce, and coffee have small amounts of formaldehyde. Number 5. Diethanolamine and Trithanolamine also known as DEA and TEA are used to balance out pH levels in hair care products. It's an acidic chemical, so if a product is too alkaline for your hair, DE is added to make the product pH neutral, as well as posing a health risk, D. And TEA can also destroy natural oils like keratin in your hair. This chemical may also cause hair loss, brittleness, and damage. D. And T. is found in soaps, shampoos, hair conditioners, dyes, perfume, lotions, cosmetics, shaving creams, pharmaceutical ointments, paraffin and waxes, household cleaning products like floor polish. Why do so many of these additives strip your hair of their natural oils? A common theme with these chemicals is the cause of hair loss and to make the hair to feel brittle and damaged. It's a clever strategy. If your hair can't produce its own oils, you'll rely more and more on expensive products to make your hair look sleek and shiny. I think it goes a little deeper than that. It is not just about money, it is about population control and the deletion of a specific group of people. So always read the labels of anything and everything that you buy. And if you are not sure what a chemical is on your label, always search online to see if it is harmful. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did leave a like and a comment, and if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.